Hi everybody, this is Supreme Diva. I'm here in New York right now. And um, I decided to talk about a topic that people are so afraid to talk about as far as the industry. Um, I'm Supreme Diva at SSBBW Porn Star. Just for people to know that exactly. But I'm talking to all ladies in general. If you are in any type of entertainment business, and as far as the business that we're doing, if you value yourself as a Walmart whore, then you're going to get treated like a Walmart whore. you got to have some type of value for yourself as a woman. Okay? Now, you, everybody want to be a porn star. First of all, there are no BBW, SSBBW porn stars that made it with thousands and, you know, a lot of money. Fine. It's a dark side to porn, and it's a good side, you know, to a good dark side, and it's a good side, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can walk on either side you want to, but I tend to trend through both sides. Um, I model as well. But please don't insult my fucking character by asking me or calling me and asking me for a $40 quickie or $60 hour and shit like that it's not gonna work with a bitch like me you're gonna pay me I don't give a fuck if I wasn't doing anything in the industry a man is gonna pay me any woman that's not in the industry if you say you're not a whore you're fucking lying every woman got a little horrorism in them because if your man stopped doing what he's doing for you at home it's on to the next one so that means that you've got some type of horrorism in you if he stopped paying those bills you're gonna go to the next motherfucker so don't knock a motherfucker unless you walk the next shoes but as far as you women sitting up here posted for forty dollars and sixty dollars and shits like that especially the black bbws uh, and, and and even the white ones you know i don't understand it I don't understand it. And then you guys wonder why they talk about us and, you know what I'm saying, and call us all type of names. We the bottom of the barrel when we do hardcore, more hardcore than the smaller chicks and then the thick chicks. You understand what I'm saying? It's not what you do. It's how you do it. You understand what I'm saying? You probably don't because right now you probably saying, look at this bitch right now. Thank you so much. I have a master's in bitcher bitcherism. That's not even a problem. But my whole thing, yeah, I did say I retired. But I came back because you bitches still need the help. Okay? You still need the help. So while you're sitting around here talking about you a porn star, you're not. You're sitting up here talking about what you've done and all this stuff in the industry. Why is it that we're still the bottom of the barrel? Because everybody's sitting around and watching each other. If you so busy watching me, what the fuck are you doing for yourself? It's impossible. So this is 2015. Bitches, raise your prices up. You understand what I'm saying? Raise your prices up. Do, your, do valuable things. And for you guys who sitting up here messing with these chicks for 40 and 50 and 60 bucks, that says a lot about you. Because if a bitch selling their ass for that much money, that would make you wonder what the fuck do they got? So, it's better enough that you coming around and you trying to, you know, do side shit on your chick or your wife. And then you bring her something back home. I'm not talking about you download brothers who really like to get fucked in the ass with, you know, deal doors and all that crazy bullshit. And go back and lay beside your fucking wife. But no, you come to a bitch like me with standards. And you say, oh, oh, I go look on uh, BP and the escort sites. You bitches posted for 40 and 60 and 80 bucks. And then you don't have a sign up there. Then you got Walmart prices. Sweetie, please. Step your game up. Do you really think that you guys are doing something. If you see, if you see a hundred, if you see fifty motherfuckers that day, and you come up with shut with check, you think you did something because you got a thousand dollars? It's nothing. It's nothing. So until you guys upgrade yourself and stop shopping at fucking Rainbow, and you bitches the size of me, go to a fucking fat girl store and get something sexy. Go on the internet and find something your size. Stop letting your shit pop all out when you can do something classy. It's a whole new year. It's a whole new reign. And I thought maybe that me saying, you know, I retired that, you know, you girls will, you know, step it up and be new people come in. And even the old bitches that's been in the industry for so long. You know, I thought maybe I'd give you guys a chance to get some type of shine. But it's obviously you still don't know how to do that, right? No, you don't. But. 
stop lowballing yourself. Stop doing yourself like that. And then by the time by the time you get my age, you gonna have more mileage on your pussy than the Greyhound bus. You gonna have more mileage on your pussy than the motherfucking airplane. Have some type of respect for yourself. It ain't what you do in life; it's how you do it. Value. This is what I'm talking about. Value. I could take $30 and make a $30 outfit, $20 outfit look like I paid 60 bucks for it. Stop wearing the shoes running over. You understand what I'm saying? Stop with your wigs and stuff. Look like something. Have some big women, please. What are you doing? Stop taking care of these niggas. Do something for yourself. Go back to school. Do something. It's more to life than sitting around on these escort sites or going to these niggas who pay you hundred dollars, these companies paying you hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars, they making a little more money, way more money than you because you didn't brand yourself. A lot of you women in this industry, you get on Twitter, Facebook and stuff and act like you got so much money and you don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? I you know, I've been off the radar. You know what I'm saying? I was sick, I had strokes. I was off the radar for like three, two or three years. But I'm still the top of the line because I branded my name. You know what I mean? So if you stop doing VIP parties, pay people like Editor and his brother and, you know, people who got, you know, has and people who got some type of fucking knowledge about this industry shit. And upgrade yourself and then you get higher pay. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk, it's time out for this shit. You can hate me all you want, so I need all my haters to take a seat. Right in the front row. I got something for you guys, too. Trust me. Stop low balling. Now, I'm going to get my money regardless. It don't make a difference. But for me to just see big women on these sites low balling. Then going to these clubs and shit, doing all these VIP parties and shit, lowballing, and the stuff the guys say out their mouth about, not just you guys, but it's all us because they say, you know what I'm saying, just like they say all blacks look alike. You know what I mean? But don't put me in you guys' category because I've never been in you guys' category. Do I escort? Yes. Will I take your man money? Yes. But bitch, one of your bills ain't going to be paid. Trust me. It's not going to be that you ain't going to miss that $40. You're not gonna, it's, it's not going to be that. Trust me. So, value yourself. It's 2015. I don't want to make this a long video. But you girls need to value yourself. And do something different. Where are the BBW porn stars? Where are you? I'm still waiting. Where are you? Are there any real BBW porn stars? Is there any company that's willing to invest in us? No. Because you bitches shoot for two or three hundred dollars. And why would they go see you at a show or go buy your product when they could fuck you off of it, off a site? For 40 or 50 or 60 fucking bucks. You have no value. So therefore. Step the game up. It's 2015. If you bitches don't like me. You ain't gonna never like me. Bitch I don't give a fuck. But um. Yeah I think I said enough. I'm gonna finish sipping on my. Drink right here. Yeah, pretty much. Step your game up motherfuckers. You already know what it is. It's 2050 motherfucking, it's, it's filthy, alright, 2050 fucking 15, draw me playing, y'all know I sell for 21.95 and I'm a nigga eating pussy, what the fuck is wrong with y'all bitches, up your game. It makes no sense, I've been sitting back for, for two years sick, and uh, no, not no AIDS or shit like that, oh yeah, let me, let me clip this rumor. Ah, uh, my legs was getting cut off. Oh, my legs cut off. My legs. My legs. 
you know, and all this other bullshit. Actually, you could come on up here because I lost over a hundred and something pounds, and I'm still banging. I'm still here. <laughs> no stomach, as other people say, thick. BBW, bitch, you still fat. You, you, yeah, it's you, real. And we ain't just blowing steam like my motherfucking $1,200 apartment right now about to heat up. It is what it is. Step it up. Up your game. Just like this video. Up your game. It's 2050-15. Ladies, please. If you think you better than me or whatever, and, you know, I strongly advise you to bring it to get it. Come on. Let's get it.